What's up guys, today I got a new GX85, nice little camera here, and we are going to hack it and add CineD and CineV onto this camera as picture profiles because they are originally enabled, uh, I guess when they were making the camera first they decided to leave them on there, but then they wanted to take them off so they could sell more GH4s and GH5s, I don't know why. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna hack this, add those profiles, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, so you can, because I want to use this as a B cam to my GH5, what I'm filming with right now, but I always shoot in Cine D. So uh, here's how we do it. First thing, turn it on. Turn on the Wi-Fi feature. Boop. It's going to broadcast the Wi-Fi signal. Connect to that Wi-Fi with your computer. Uh, before you do all this, download the file in the description of this video because you're gonna have to use it right now. Once you're connected, click on this handshake button. And you'll see some stuff that says OK under research, secure, oh, establish Wi-Fi connection with a smartphone, device name, oh, connection failed, I didn't click it fast enough because I'm making a video. Let's try it again. Turn the Wi-Fi on, connect to it, and then you'll see the prompt on your phone, or uh, you'll see the prompt on your camera. Click the handshake button, and then you'll see the do you trust it, click yes. Now it says connecting. Click back on your browser. Now you gotta do this all really quick. All right, so you gotta do these steps really fast, otherwise it's gonna say connection failed. Launch Wi-Fi on your camera, and then connect to the Wi-Fi, and then connect to the Wi-Fi with your computer. Then click the handshake button, and then you're gonna see the camera prompt you. should say OK Remote Encrypted and then click Connect and then it's gonna say OK. Click back on your browser and then click Deploy Cinelike D and then it'll say OK and the picture profile in the top of your camera up here usually it says standard or whatever but it will disappear all right, so I'm controlling this now with the computer. I'm gonna go back to restore. And then you'll see standard reappear up at the top there. So you can see the little standard there now. I'm gonna click deploy Cine like D. Boom, it disappears and it says okay. And that's it, and now so you can flip back and forth. Go into your settings on your camera, click OK, uh, go to your custom set menu, do custom set memory, first option up there, and then set C1 as Cine D. Yes, save, completed. All right, so we got Cine D as C1 and Cine V as C2 on this camera now. And then for the last one, I'm just gonna restore it to standard. So I can still screw up the picture profile, I guess, I don't know. But I'm gonna keep Cine D on C1, Cine V on C2. And then uh, and then that's it. So you can disconnect from the Wi-Fi in your camera, or you can close the Wi-Fi down here with the camera itself, terminate the connection, and that's it. Get back onto your regular Wi-Fi with your computer, and now you've got a GX85 with Cine D and Cine V. Uh, or Cine like D, whatever, you know, you know what it is. Um, so this is gonna be a huge enhancement to this camera and I'll be doing a review on the footage of this camera uh, sometime in the next week. So hit subscribe, follow the rest of the instructions on that file, uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, um, and we'll see what we can do with this camera. I got the GH5 for retail. Uh, the GX85, I got for like 440 bucks though. So uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. That's how you hack this camera. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. Be happy to answer. Have a good day. And I'm gonna teach you how to create the, the red button on the side. Controller.
avoid this type of attack. Here's the thing. Just be careful. 